This week in West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice announced that the state's revenue growth rate is currently the second highest in the nation. Our state is doing phenomenal. That's all there is to it. Deputy Secretary of Transportation Jimmy Riston toured the Westmoreland Bridge Deck Repair Project happening in Charleston. The decks are just just gone. They're just they just reached their life, and uh, we've got got our contractor out here and our state forces out here to inspect them to. Get, the, get these bridge decks back in shape so we can move through this area efficiently. The governor was joined by energy industry leaders to stress the importance of the coal industry in West Virginia. But every day that goes by in West Virginia, we produce cleaner and cleaner coal. And every day that goes by, we are producing more and more clean natural gas. And we cannot afford this level attack of attack on us. The West Virginia ABCA unveiled a new DUI simulator aimed at educating the public about driving under the influence. The West Virginia Department of Education kicked off their summer food program and held their inaugural career signing day. The 2019 History Bowl champions from South Middle School were honored at the governor's mansion. And the governor and first lady unveiled a special edition Father's Day Blinko glass piece. You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.